Hi everyone, let us praise God for a healthy life in mind and spirit. Faith is God's gift. We like to say we have faith, but faith is a gift that God gives freely for all. It is written in the letter to the Hebrews. Faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. At the beginning of the celebration, we recognize joyfully that by seeking God through faith, we will never be disappointed. Be joyful, you who seek God. Seek the Lord and His strength. Do not grow weary. Seek His face. In good times and bad, we must always seek God and His face will shine upon us. It is written in the book of Psalms, God, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we will be saved. In the first prayer of this celebration, we ask the Lord to help us to grow in faith, hope, and charity. We pray, increase in us faith, hope, and charity, so that we may obtain what you promise. Make us love what you command. It is written in a letter of Paul. Now, therefore, these three remain, but charity is the greatest. Charity is the love for others in act, by faith. It is written in a letter of Paul. For in Christ Jesus neither circumcision nor uncircumcision has any value. The only thing that counts is faith expressing itself through love. In the Mass reading, we see Paul in Corinth, looking after his fellows and trying to comfort the persecuted Christians. We read, God comforts us so that, comforted by God, we ourselves may comfort those who are suffering all kinds of hardships. Trials and sufferings are proofs that we share in the glory of God. Thus, God's comfort in the first place, and then each one comforting each one shows fellowship not only in challenges but also in the assurance that God is at the head of the mission. In the Gospel, Jesus shows to his disciples that another world is possible where there is room for all, especially the little ones. We read, Blessed are the poor in the spirit. Jesus communicates to his disciples a completely new way of seeing the world and life. The prophet announcement of Jesus shows that justice is in action in the life of the disciples only if they understand that the mission entrusted by God does not belong to them. We are happy to participate in this great project of a new world by following Jesus till the end and always drawing from His life which is love in action. Every day God renews our strength with His Word 
and at the table of the Eucharist. We pray aloud, Lord, that our celebration contributes first of all to your glory. Our poor offerings should be like flashes of our life of love, hope, and charity for the glory of God. May he be pleased to see how his works bear fruits in our daily lives. We pray in the preface, in the universe all things celebrate you, the people of the baptized glorify you, the saints bless you with one heart. Towards the end of the celebration, we feel the joy of being saved. Happy to be saved, we praise the name of our God. The best way to praise God is to do good. It is written in one of the letters of Paul, Serve one another humbly in love. We pray, May your sacraments, Lord, achieve in us what they signify. Life is long, and we are invited to love always and unceasingly. May God bless us in this journey. Thank you, and may God give us the grace of a healthy life in body and spirit. Amen.